this way. Hey everybody, my name's Kendall, and we're going back into Resident Evil Village. Now, sadly, I actually played this part already, and recorded it, and everything got corrupted. And I have no idea why, so thankfully I saved here, and we're just going to go back into it. All that was over here was just some creepy photos, so... Not sure what's too important to story and what's not important. But that thing in the little top, I'm pointing like you're there. The thing in the top right, it looks like some kind of creepy cult thing, but I don't know. Louisa, they broke in again, got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? And that is what we're about to find out. This creepy old house. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left. All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid! A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! Tomorrow? <clears throat> Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... That's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee. Within, within the endless, endless dark, to, to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Leonardo, what's wrong? Are you okay? Go! 
Marina? I said no! Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Father. Hey, hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. Okay, so yeah, that was super intense. First time I saw that, I thought that was pretty creepy with the chanting and stuff, and I still think it's a little creepy. And they mentioned something about a sacrifice, which I missed last time. So, we'll see what that's about. I feel like there's going to be some weird thing with the village, like they sacrifice a person or something to save their own butts once a month or year or something weird, but I don't know. I haven't gotten that far into the game yet, and I'll let you guys know when I've gotten to the point uh, where I was at before everything decided to go to, to put. If we could just get through this wall. Another thing is that that guy who was drunk, pretty sure he got away. I think he's the only one who lived because everyone else is dead for sure with that. Uh, so that's uh, that's no good. Take the screwdriver out of the key ring if you need it. And here's the screwdriver. Or rather, the key ring with the screwdriver. I know that because, again, I've played this so far. Okay, so got that. Got the key ring. And let's get out of here. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> and we use the truck key. <coughs> What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Let me back up again. The fire! There isn't any time! <laughs> Nowhere to go but up. Grab on! Hurry! Let's move! Don't worry, and try not to breathe in the smoke. I, I know. know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. I know, I'm so kind. But I, I hope, hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. I forgot about all the dialogue. I want to know how the truck went That'd from, be good. <coughs> from going straight to just flopping over slowly. I, I Physics there are kind of confusing to me, but yeah, yeah it's fine. <coughs> Come on, it'll hold. There, that's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name? Father! Wait, it's not safe! Uh! 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 Stay there! Uh! Come on, give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save 
save your daughter! Lena, don't give up! Reach for me! God damn it! Why is everyone dying on me? This is... This is just too much. Okay, time to escape. I just don't get it. By the way, if uh, this video doesn't work with this one, I'm just going to keep the game and the audio. But you already know that, because if I'm not there, I'm not there. And if I am there, you can see my ugly face either way. So, there you go. This place is going mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? Ah, shit! I do love how much Ethan's dialogue has been like, improved. Like, he has more character. He's more in the game. He sucks you into the game more because it's like, oh, he has interesting things to say now. Whereas before it was kind of like, ah! Oh, what do you say? Now we got the demon crest, and... Who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Ah! Hey! <laughs> who, who was... What was that? That was Mother Miranda, I assume. And I never could find his body. Never mind. Every other time I couldn't find his body. Oh. He just turned into black. Blood? Dust? That's odd. I didn't catch that the first time. I was looking for him like over here. But, uh, yeah, apparently that's the thing. Open the castle gate. That is my objective. Here's the old lady again. Death! Huh? Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> like how when she laughs, the little skull in there, the little jaw just kind of like flops around so it's kind of laughing as well. <laughs> So that, I assume, is Mother Miranda, and this is the family, and I suppose we'll find out what their deal is. But yeah, sacrifice thing? Yeah, the village was doing some funky stuff, I'm pretty sure. Okay, time to get the demon crest. There we go, and voila. That uh, that actually Nothing but blood and death, huh? That uh, that demon thing eating the thing is straight up like from a painting from a long time ago. I forget what it's called, but the only reason I know that is because there's an album by the band The Obsessed that uh, used it as their their album cover. And yes, I'm killing crows because I hate them. If you've been following my gameplay, you know I hate these stupid crows. And no, I don't feel bad about it. I am kind of glad that my um, video got corrupted because when I was playing that one, I was so focused on what I was saying. I wasn't like enjoying the game as much. And I definitely want to enjoy the game more and not focus on what I'm going to say next. So yeah, that's I'm kind of glad that happened. Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Ah! Uh! 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 
Mother Miranda is gonna love you. <laughs> Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> The man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. Furthermore, I can show you that you entrust the mortal to house in the dusk. My daughters and I will deliver to you the finest. Way ugly! I want to see! He's awake! Can you shut the fuck up? What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private, and where's the fun in that? Give him to me. And I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yeah, yeah, because a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well Oh, to keep growing! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight, 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 hey, don't fight, I get a fight, say in this? <laughs> Silence! My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Ha. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you're doing. Ethan. Get ready. No way! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. A little weird, huh? Ah, yeah, Jesus got... Christ! My Lord and Savior. I've got no idea. That's right. Run for your life. What's supposed to be going on here? It's really bizarre. Also, hold on one second, because the audio sounds like it's clipping like crazy. I think it's because I put it on surround sound by accident. So we'll see. Hopefully that fixes it. We'll find out soon, I suppose. Yep. I was pressing E, not that. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Very nice, Ethan. <laughs> no, no. Bad. Super bad. Pardon me as I, you know, kind of scoot my way through here since I've already played it. Oops. <laughs> my word. You truly are as strong as they say. Oh, you didn't think I'd let you Ooh. get away. Thank you. Gotta keep the daughter and Moreau in the last pain. time. I actually did find it. So now it's time. That close to that. The Lord Soaked. Grand finale! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like fresh American ground beef! <laughs> 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 
too close. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Now that is the question he asked, obviously he asked last time, but the more I thought about it, I was like, do they? Why would they have Rose? Because, I mean, well, I guess the whole point of this entire game is filled with questions of why, and uh, that's the whole point in playing a video game, is to find out why, so we will see what happens, I guess. Hopefully. Well, I mean, obviously we will, but man, these levels are, or this game, sorry, is just, look at this. This looks crazy awesome. Like, this is so cool, you know? Oh, I love it. I know I say that about, like, every game I play, but it's just true. It's like, think about it. You started with, like, Pong or whatever. No, there's a game before Pong, but whatever that game was. And you get to, like, Doom when it was, like, the first... Well, Wolfenstein was, like, the first 3D kind of game. And here we are in 2021 and with this stuff. It's crazy, man. It's just crazy. Okay, I'm gonna be the bird hunter. Pro hunter, in particular. Because... Money. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winter. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, Anything you desire, I can provide. Okay. Welcome, Ethan. I have something special today. Yes. Guess we don't get to find out what it is. Also, this guy, straight up, same thing from 4. There's a merchant in 4, and he was like... <laughs> Except he didn't sound like that. But, basically, same thing. So... I mean, I mean, I know I already saw this stuff already, but I wanted to see what the deal is with these that are marked to zero dollars. And basically all they are is they're just a handful of free um, bullets you can get <laughs> and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and take them. Because why not? At first I was like, oh, it's cheating. But I'm like, you know what? I don't care. And also you get this bad boy. And here is where you sell stuff. So this is literally almost the same as four like with gameplay and stuff which i'm excited for you guys to see i know i'm i played the four and then i'm doing this one and you haven't seen four yet but i think that's actually going to work out better we we'll see for sure but either way i'm excited to for think i would buy such things us to get through both little easter egg ish thing is the samurai edge i think all these samurai guns have been in every single game which, that's pretty cool. All right. Thank so, you for your patronage. You're welcome very much. Okay, now let's go into the giant castle. I didn't even bother to look at this. Look at how pretty this is. See, this is the thing. I need to just slow down so I can look at this stuff. I was just doing it so quick. So I'm glad it got screwed up. And maybe it's screwed up this time. I'll, we'll see. But either way, this looks awesome. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> Jerked the camera around. Like, look at this. This is just... Weirdly enough, it's kind of cozy. I know that sounds kind of funny, but it is. Also, just because I'm a nerd and I used to do game testing, I like that there's a little hole in the wall that they missed right there that I found. Bethesda, you missed something. Which is okay. Here. $3. That's three dollars? Three dollars. Three daughters. Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. What is this? January 5th. Redneck. Redneck. Red Gosh darn redneck. That, that, that'd be redneck. <laughs> Good one, man. I know. They got another one, man. What do you, what do you call the difference between them? They know, they know man and a little, little squirt gun. Uh, <clears throat> redneck. Delivery of one male, three females. January 28th, Mother Miranda meeting with Mistress 
I can't ever pronounce her name. I'll have to wait till I hear it again. February 1st, the Duke business discussions. So I assume those are just like the plan book or something, maybe. I don't know. Also, a real fun feature. You break stuff. And you could break stuff in 4 as well, which, oh, they really are loving on 4 with this game. And as much as I slam the game, which I really do, and you'll see that, I do like it. Nothing happens. And I like it now. I didn't like it when I was playing it. It was making me really pissed, but it was very well done and very fun. <laughs> And I like that about it. I did thought it was going to be like a serious, like, oh, it's really scary kind of thing. It, it really wasn't, except for one part. Spoilers. But, um, yeah, I have a lot more respect for it now. And now that I'm playing Village, it's really awesome, you know? Lock from the other side. So, yeah, that's just cool. So I'll probably just be telling you guys little facts here and there about four that I found. <laughs> And again, I have played this far for sure, quite a bit farther than this. So I do know <laughs> some of the things that have happened already. Man, look at this. This feels like a little uh, throwback to the mansion in the first one, the Spencer Mansion. A little bit. All right, here we go. <laughs> Man blood. <laughs> 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 Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> <sighs> now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Yes, Mother. Yes, Mother. Hmm. Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. <laughs> Put him up. Hey, hey, wait. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs>
Can we just appreciate how tough Ethan freaking is? Like, this guy got... What was it? What was the first thing? He got his fingers chewed off. Second, he got his face smashed with a massive hammer by a giant werewolf thing. Uh, third, he got two scythes or whatever in his knees. <laughs> he got scythes or whatever they're called in his freaking hands. Anyway. <laughs> this guy's like tough, man. The last time I was so confused about what this lever was, I didn't realize it had to do with those chains which are attached to nothing. Not sure how that's supposed to raise up, but okay. Here I can use the lock pick. The free one I got, which I'm okay with that because I doubt I'll be coming back in here. But you never know. Don't they have the loveliest bloody food? It's great. So nasty. What did this say? This said something. Maidens of the Harvest. Hmm. So I'm wondering... Well, there's a lot of things I'm wondering about this game. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a while instead of just... Bleh, we're vomiting everything out at you. I'll, uh, I'll just enjoy the game. We can enjoy it together and just go on this crazy ride. Excuse me. There we go. Got an eyeball ring. Everybody needs an eyeball ring. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it and pop it out. Maroon eye. Blood red gemstone in the shape of an evil eye. Now I'm not sure what makes it an evil eye, but whatever. Now one thing that is very noticeable right away, which I noticed last time, is none of the freaking knights have any protection in their crotch area. All of them. Which is really bizarre, but whatever. I don't know if I'm going to get an explanation for that or not. And uh, earlier they said something about, uh, in the big cutscene, they said something about, um... Where have they taken Rose? Brain fart, wow. In the cutscene where they introduced Mother Miranda and all the weird people, they said something about cutting off the guy's dick or something. I don't know if that was a joke or if that was serious and that's why literally all the statues have <laughs> no crotch protection. But that'd be really funny, honestly, if that is why. But I don't know. Okay, I forget what these said. Does it say anything? It doesn't say anything, but obviously you're gonna put like heads or something on there. Oh yeah, also, I totally forgot this area. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? <laughs> Man, he is adamant about making the purchases. Dom, Domitre, Dom, I can't, I just, he just said it. I can't remember her name. <laughs> Norstians, I think that's how you pronounce it. R Labyrinths, a craftsman of the late 19th century. Norstian was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norstian then created the four labyrinths, a castle, the House on a Hill, just like Betrayal, the game, if anybody knows what that is. The Water Wheel and the Iron Tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norstian's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. And I assume that it has to do something about this and I'm wondering if that bridge thing 
is like in real time, so to speak, and actually happening somewhere. Don't know. And I tried putting the eye in there, but it doesn't do anything. There is this red crystal skull thing, but I don't think it's related to the skulls you find outside. I'm not sure. Well, don't die on me. Oh, he just burned himself on the cigarette. What are you buying? <laughs> just something an old friend of mine used to say. Oh, my word. That's literally what the merchant said in uh, 4. So that's pretty funny. I do think the audio is uh, stopped clipping, by the way, since I put it on headphones, which makes sense because having it on surround sound or speaker system would drive it, like, super loud. So that makes sense, but... Man, this is pretty. This, I think, was in the E3 or whatever uh, you call it when they show you the gameplay or trailers. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's this cup here that just is here because it has blood. And that's, that's about it to show that they drink blood. Oh! I'm dumb. I didn't notice the boots and the jacket and the hat, so maybe that was a dude that coughed up blood? Maybe? Maybe that's what they're hinting at? I don't know. So that just leads back to the main entrance. And I believe this door was locked as well. Yeah. Okay, so upstairs is the only way to go. Up the big old stairs. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. So, uh... Shooting things is definitely a thing. I said that in the last video already. So I don't need to say it again. But I just... that I find that funny. I'm getting a big kick out of that. Because that was such a huge thing in 4. To me, at least. So The wine room. Oh, that's right. I don't think I went here the first time I played. But, uh, yeah. Not much to this room. Except for this. Which is something. That I can put something on, but not the eyeball. And here is where we use the eyeball. Wonderful little thing. You know what would have been creepy is if they had the eyeballs follow you, like, from the door. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Taking a live, dead witch to can you tell I've been here before? Just a little bit. Now, here's my thing about that whole situation. I find that comical. I don't find that scary in the least bit. Like, it's really funny. Like, they're not scary. They just sound ridiculous. <laughs> but, oh well. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it, shut it, now, they all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. So, cool thing about that, 1958? Long time ago. Very long time ago. Many questions as to how old these people are. And what's going on. And here's the lady that I can never pronounce her name. Lady D D whatever. What you call her? I don't know. The one that everybody freaked out about for some reason because she's nine foot tall and 
other things. Not much in this room. This is locked. So we go this way. I do like that it's not like 100% creepy. It's like a good mix of like quote unquote normal and creepy. Because like this isn't too scary really. I mean to me at least. Now it might be to other people but to me it's kind of like meh. And I did this part too which took, took a while. Oh that's right. Uh, yeah here we go. Trust in light. I forgot there's these little signs that are written in blood. But uh, I'm gonna shoot it because shooting it seems faster than the way I did it the first time. The first time I literally just shoved it and ran into it. It took forever. So yeah, trust in light, light the torches. Getting a little ahead of myself. Sorry about that. Yeah, now we get to the place where no one can see anything. So we got their dungeon with uh, what seems to be poop stains on the wall. Just kidding. Uh, that looks like the blackness that, uh, what's his face turned into? I don't, th that sentence makes no sense, I'm sure, but, um, yeah. It's covered in dried blood. See, so yeah, the black blood thing, that seems like that's related to some stuff that happened in 7. I don't know if I'm, like, way off on that, but, yeah, it says, help me brother, and I don't know what the deal is with that. But I saw that last time as well. I'm wondering if that has something to do with the uh, previous people that were imprisoned here, or what? I don't know. Also, that stake is disgusting looking, to say. Candidates, Irene, something, 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 blah, 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 rejects, blah, 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 blah. So, oh, right, this is what I said last time I was down here, is I wonder if there was some kind of virus... Before the P virus was made by what's his face in, uh, well, they explain that in Resident Evil Zero. I wonder if these guys were take, making some kind of other experiments that weren't related. Oh, I can't break it to um, to that. I mean, it could be. It's the world of Resident Evil. Anything's possible. Irene, Mahilda, I guess, Lewis or Lois, Lois, yeah, Lois. All robust appetite. Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. And there's four of them, so I'm wondering who that is. Oh yeah, that freaked me out last time. I totally forgot about that. Sup, lady? Didn't like that, I don't think. Oh, I missed that one. Now, last time... I managed to not get hit once. I'm gonna see if I can do that again. Give it a go. The music's great, by the way. Ooh, don't go that way. Oops. Nice, you hit the door. Come on, come on. They didn't have to back up this far. I don't feel like I had to shoot him as much either. Which is odd, but whatever. Sup? You did. One more. One more. Another one. Nope, you did too. Okay. We got all the monies from that. Nice. But there are more, that is for sure. Oh yeah, I have the shotgun too. Oh yeah, I have a ton of ammo for that. I forgot about that. Yeah, this one gives you a ton of ammo, which is just like they gave for. They give you a ton. Well, actually, no. I take that back. They did not give you a ton of ammo at the time. But at times, I have a ton of ammo. Oh yeah, the pipe bomb. <laughs> okay. Good thing I played this over again, because apparently I was so distracted by how I was talking that I forgot half of this stuff. So that's cool. Ooh. 
I see nothing. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, they come out of here. That's a new thing. Whoops! No! Oh! I got lucky. Pretty sure I got lucky there. Ah, run! There we go. You did. Ooh, gave me a crystal scroll, and you in the wall. Some money fine flipping you're doing there. Boom! Bang! Bluey! Cloudy! Ugh! Bang! Hell! This was one that was odd. It's Ingrid's necklace specific. <laughs> Ingrid's necklace specifically. And I wonder if Ingrid was just one of the people they brought down here, and it was her who died. I wonder if that's not a main character, if that's just someone you're supposed to read about and be like, Oh, that's cool! I have noticed that there are holes in a lot of places, so... My guess is, throughout the game, I'm gonna be coming back around through these places, and they're gonna be popping up at me. Probably. That's my guess anyway. But, I don't know. Whew. Whew. Pretty sure I saw the sword on my screen. Ooh. Crystal skull. I don't know why I keep saying that. Crystal skull. So yeah, it's not. This is creepy. Not, not as creepy as I was hoping it would be. That intro, though. That, that really got me. That was terrifying. I will say. I totally forgot about that. It's a coffin. I didn't notice that last time. I will keep that in mind. I can't believe Cassandra calls oh, all right. this mess. Yeah. I forgot about her running around. I think the thing that bugs me the most is she just... It's like she's talking Squeeze to herself. Blood out when they're alive, and it's that much sweeter. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, oh, you're scary? Question mark? Oh, okay, well, that's enough. Okay, this is the thing that really bugs me. You can't block her attacks. I want to drown in your blood. That's gross. But you can't block her attacks, and that is annoying as I'll get out. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, okay. See? It just gets old, so... My only complaint I have about the game so far is that. And that's it. Other than that, no complaints. <laughs> Where are you going, little one? <sighs> Your bullets cannot harm. <sighs> <sighs> Ah! You stupid man thing! <laughs> That's a funny line, I will say. You stupid man thing! That's pretty good. She don't like no wind. Ah! Bit. I feel no pain! Sure. Definitely ah! block. Ah! See, I blocked, but I can't do it. That sucks. How dare you bear your teeth at us! Well, you did it first. This can't be! But it is! You're dying! Accept it! You are dying. Don't believe it! You should. Oh, I missed so bad. Okay, block that time. Whew. Ah. Give up! Ooh, ooh, okay, block. Move your oh, hands! Not this no. Why would I'll I? I'll slice your throat and stuff it with worms! It's gross. <laughs> okay, there we go. So sad. She's all frozen. Oh, I didn't get to break it? That's sad. Crystal torso. 
There we go. That was a weird thing, though. The crystal torso thing, they turn into crystal. I don't know if that's just for selling purposes or what. Because you can't. it's not a key item. It's just something you can sell. Ah, yes, they're disgusting kitchen. Oh, the wine bottle. That's a key item, isn't it? That goes in the wine cellar thing. That's what it is. I totally meant... Well, I didn't find the wine cellar last time, so that would explain it. There's some more of that uh, Skyrim garlic. And these poor chihuahuas. Because they eat chihuahuas, which is nasty. Oh, and they got their little wieners on them, too. Ugh. Anywho, easy to pick lock, and I think this was a lock pick? No, it was a part of the gun. That's right. I get to upgrade my gun. Yeah. Thank you. Heck yeah. Uh, I get a lock pick at some point, though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, there it is. Simple. Piece of cake. Oh, no. It was a statue. Was that a key item? No, it wasn't. But it's valuable, so that's good. Now we're in the dining room area. I think I can... Yeah, I can bust the windows open here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And break all the stuff! Break all the stuff! Only thing I'm bummed about is you can't break, like, some of these item items, which kind of sucks. I was really hoping you could, but oh well. What you gonna do? I think this is locked. Yeah, it's a key. So. I love that wind, though. That's so cool. Oh, okay. That's where this leads. I wasn't sure. Break it! Break it! And break some more. I've expanded my services. Please, come take a look. Oh, have you? I'm gonna go ahead and buy the, uh... Ah, so you noticed that. I did notice that. The, uh suitcase extra baggage because i mean more inventory heck yeah also gonna do the high capacity you'll be slaughtering things oh i talk i didn't let him talk that's bummer nice got the extra mag and it's got the recoil compensator this gun's turning out to be pretty dope it's already at level 140 Whew. well this is all the time i have for you today I'm enjoying this game very much so, and I am really excited to see where everything's going. And I'm going to actually slow down when I play, so I'm actually catching all the things that are going on and not just having it fly by me all the time. But For this week's record on what's spinning, we have Disease by Beartooth. Now this record's special to me in particular because the first time I heard this, it was instantly like my second favorite album of all time, and I played it over and over and over and over again on repeat, day after day. This is such a good rock and roll slash metal album, it is just fantastic. There's catchy choruses, super dope riffs, everything you could want basically. Once again, I highly recommend you give this one a listen, it's really dope. If you like this video and all my videos, just hit that subscribe button and like. Helps me out, helps you out, you know how it goes. Till next time, peace out, hang loose, rock on, God bless, and I will see you later.